good morning guys so i don't want to say discharge day because i don't want discharge not to happen i don't want to like jinx it but i forgot to tell you yesterday my kidney my kidneys my function wasn't great and the day before it was my liver which still wasn't great but it was a little bit better um oh god i need to get out of bed i feel like i've been just lying in bed for like two weeks more than two weeks more than two weeks straight oh my legs I've got so much fluid retention at the moment, it's ridiculous, like my rings will not fit on my fingers. So I've just, like, I took them off in my sleep and I found them in my bed this morning, I was like, what the heck? <laughs> so, good morning, Fiona Stanley and Wexford Centre, which is that place over there. That's like a private place. Good morning world, lovely view, but i will be glad to be uh, waking up in my own bed. And just a reminder, guys, I'm actually moving to my dad's. So Tom's been taking stuff back and forth all week. Um, I'm going to start packing up some of the stuff. But really, discharge just depends on my bloods. Like, if my bloods come back shitty, then they're probably not going to let me go. Which is really annoying. So I'm going to get dressed into what I'm wearing today. And I'm just going to sit on my bed and be like, I'm ready to go. I also need to get my stitches out today um, and my dressing changed before I leave. Um, and I'm kind of worried about this little cut here, this one, because that was meant to have stereo strips on it for a lot longer than it did, and it's looking a bit red, and it's a bit sore and itchy, but I think that might just be like the healing process, but it's hard to tell whether it's like the beginning of an infection or if it's just, um, you know, the beginning of healing. So, uh, I just have my blood sugars done, 4.5, so we're okay because we're worried about my sugars dropping low when I'm not on TPM because I'm only on it for 12 hours. Um, I tried to run a little bit of fluid yesterday but it kind of failed and I was in a lot of pain last night because of it. So I'm just gonna leave that for now and speak to my dietitian when I see her. Um, I do have to come and get bloods done tomorrow morning quite early, not here, just the closest blood collection center, the closest path west to my dad's. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna start packing up some of the stuff. So it's not a big hoo-ha um, and get dressed and stuff and breakfast should be around soon. I don't know what, what it's going to be. Hopefully something good to celebrate my last meal. I'll probably just get McDonald's on the way to my dad's to be honest. Like a milkshake or something. Yeah. I hope you guys were well and I'm excited to go home and relax and I don't know, just be home, not in a hospital and go to bed and just know that no one's gonna come through the door and prick my finger four times a night and blood pressure and all that stuff oh actually I need to tell them to take my IV out too I don't need it anymore well it's not bad is it for two and a half bit weeks I'll say two and a half weeks it's not that much stuff what half of it's because it's bulky items like my mirror that Tom, who am I kidding, Tom took like triple this home last night, so yeah, but it's not bad, I just don't know how I'm going to carry it all by myself, I'm going to have to get a wheelchair just for the stuff, I think, I don't know who's going to be able to pick me up yet either, it just depends on what time I'm actually getting discharged, because Tom could possibly be here, but then again, depending on the time, he might not be here, so it literally just depends. And I haven't seen the doctors yet, and no one's changed my dressing, so I'm hoping it'll be like around 10-ish. Hopefully Tom will be able to be here for that. If not, I do have many people I can call to help a girl out, so I might just text them and see who's available. Um, anyway, I'm wearing my blue jeans, which I'll be happy when these don't fit me anymore, because that means that I'm going up a size, because these are, what are the what size of these? A size 4 maybe or a size 2 I can't remember I don't know what that is in US sizes but it's like one of the smaller sizes that you can get so I'll be happy when you can't see my hip bones and that I don't these don't fit me anymore um, and I'm just wearing that with a shirt that says boring because that's what this place is boring <laughs> um, and yeah anyway I'm just waiting for people to tell me what's happening I feel like I'm never going to get out of here. So my dietitian just came and told me that my bloods are looking good. My kidneys are better today, but my liver's still not happy about this TPM. 
and she did explain to me that if my liver starts going downhill then we're gonna have to stop the TPN but I'm not tolerating feeds enough to sustain myself so I was like oh my gosh like if that if it gets to that I want to be at, at like a stable weight but the whole like TPN situation is that we're gonna start introducing me running just normal like water through my tube because I can't run nothing for too long because all your insides start to shrivel up if you don't use them it's like muscles like they atrophy basically so and that's already started to happen um so basically the longer you go with nothing the worse you will get so gut rest cannot be for too long so we're just going to run fluids not feed at the moment but i tried to do it yesterday and i only got to like 25 mils and i was in so much pain and i started retching and it was just horrible so i think when i start with fluids today or well, later tonight or maybe probably tomorrow um, I'm just going to run them at what I can tolerate, what's comfortable, and then slowly work my way up mill by mill. And then once I get a decent rate of fluids, I'm going to try with feeds. Um, and the, obviously the whole thing is to try and get off TPN completely and back onto feeds. Sorry, my nose came in. I can't really remember what I was saying. Um, yeah, basically the whole idea is to try and get off TPN altogether. A lot of you are asking about my sister, how she's doing. She's not doing good. She didn't have to stay into hospital, but she's actually come back today because she's still not right. She's still throwing up and GI issues and stuff like that. Um, and it worries me because I don't want it to be gastroparesis because she goes through like flares where she can't keep down food and stuff. And it freaks me out so much. And I think, oh, it's just a virus. It's just a virus. But this time it's lasted a long, like a long time. I'm scared. Like it petrifies me that she'll end up like me on TPN. Like, I can deal with me, but if it's somebody else, if it's my mom, my sister, Tom, if it was some if it's somebody else, I'm someone I love, I, I don't think I could deal. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna walk around to AE now and see if she's in the waiting room or not. If she's gone through to cubicles then I probably won't go back there. Um but I'll just we'll see. And I'm just gonna let my nurse know that's what I'm doing and then if stuff's happening up on the ward I'll have to go and come back up. But I just want to go see her because I haven't seen her the entire time I've been here because she's been ill. And every time that she felt a little bit better, she said, oh, I'll come in. And then she got worse again and she didn't end up coming to see me. So I haven't seen her in like two and a half weeks. So I'm going to go down and see her now. Um, yeah, okay. That's what I'm going to do. Hey guys. So I am home. I haven't vlogged in a while. A lot's gone on. Um, so the room's in a little bit of a state, but it's not too bad because we're trying to kind of unpack and figure out where everything's going to go. It's kind of annoying, really, because I prefer my pole to be where my chest of drawers is, but I can't really do anything about it. Um, and also, they left my ivy in again, so Tom's about to take it out for me, but... My chest of drawers are going to go back to the first Yeah, but then I can't get to my plug point if I do that. Well, yes, but eventually you're going to have a extension. Well, actually... Um, and I'm just about to set up some fluids to go up on my pole so I can run them at my own leisure. Okay, ready to take it out, Bob? Yeah. Why do you want to do it in here? No. Okay. I'm going to cup soup. Mm. Batch is going to die. We're currently in the spare room. This is where most of the medical stuff is going to live. Um... And then out in the hallway here is pretty much all the deliveries except for the TPN. And I'll show you everything properly when we have like a definite place for it all. But at the moment it's just kind of everywhere. This is one of your dressings. It'll be fine. I cut my nails last night. Oh, so you got nothing to help peel it up with. Look away if you're squeamish, guys. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <Sharp> ticket. <laughs> Thank you, Baba. Need a sharp spin. Hey guys, so it's been a long night. Um, I don't really remember the last thing I vlogged. Possibly Tom taking out my IV. 
Um, so first night home, first night setting up TPM at home. It's my little setup. Um, and there's plenty of leash, so I'm not worried about like rolling over and it ripping out or anything. Cause yeah, and some people are asking what this blue thing is. It's actually a filter. It's to stop any air. Um getting in my line so that's what that does anyway I'm super tired it's been a really long day I'm really bloated I don't know if you can see let me show you the side view I know it doesn't look that bad but I am um, I'll show you in the morning when I normally look like a uh, good old tube um, I'm actually getting my tube changed on Thursday next week in for, to a Mikey or Mickey button. I don't know how you pronounce it. I hear Tom pissing in the background. Lovely. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's vlog, please do give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys early tomorrow morning because I have to go get a blood test first thing tomorrow. So, hey. Anyway, I'm gonna get a good night's sleep with no interruptions. No nurses coming in at five in the morning, doing vitals all the night, all through the night, blood sugars through the night, none of that rubbish. Gonna get a good night's sleep, undisturbed. I'm excited. So good night, guys. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow.